Hi everyone. So, uh, long time no see. Today I'm just doing kind of a try on of a few different things that are new ish, new to me. Um, if I do swatches, I'll stick them in here. Okay, uh, this is the Revolution Pro um, Ultimate Coverage Concealer in C0.2. This is the Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution in C0.2. Conceal and Define in C1. Cover FX Power Play in N Fair 1, which is my favorite concealer generally. I like how it works under my eyes and also I like the color a lot. And it wears really well. Uh, Tarte Found Sealer in 8B Porcelain Beige. This is Tarte Shape Tape in 8B Porcelain Beige as well. Um, this has oxidized a little. I do have sunscreen on my arm, so it is kind of similar to having skincare like on my face. So they, it, both of those actually, I think, oxidize a tiny bit, just depending on the skincare that's underneath them. And that's something that I think varies from person to person. Um, Tarte Face Tape in 8S, the Porcelain Sand, which is the more yellow toned, and I do have a review on that. Maybelline Matte and Poreless in 102 Fair Porcelain. T Pro Filter Soft Matte in 100. This one sometimes oxidizes on me, sometimes it does not. And this is a Stellar Limitless Foundation in L01. I really like the formula and the color on that one is pretty nice for me. All of these are shades that I can wear without problems. And these swatches have sat for a little bit. Um, I tried not to let them dry too much just so we could see them without that, you know, sometimes they fully dry and they really oxidize differently than they do on your face. Um, but I had some children drama that I had to handle, so <laughs> they did sit a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Um, I've got this Tarte Found Sealer Foundation, and the color I have is 8B Porcelain Beige, which is the lightest shade. Um, I have a review, I think, of the face tape in 8S, which is the more yellow shade, and this is the cooler tone shade. Um, the packaging on this is just so, like, cheap sounding. It's, like, really rattly with the, um, the little twist-up mechanism thing, and you have to be careful to, like, lock it all the way up or it just, like, falls back down, and then even when it's locked, it's still... It just feels cheap. <laughs> um, under my eyes, I originally put this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C0.2. F0.2 of the foundation is a good shade match for me in the Conceal and Define foundation line. Um, and I have not tried, I believe they have their regular Conceal, what's it called? Is it Conceal and Define? Oh my gosh, I've lost, I've lost the, the plot. Conceal and Define contour concealer. Okay. I have used C0.5. I finished one of those. I used to use it for eye primer. C1 and white is what I use for eye primer sometimes. I can use this under my eyes with a little bit darker of a foundation, the C1, because I don't, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, looking? Really? I'm not looking for brightening under my eyes. I'm just trying to kind of get some concealing. <laughs> um, not my favorite concealer formula, but it's fine and it really works nicely for eye primer. Uh, this seems to be, as you'll see in the demo, kind of sheer. Um, I, I don't know about the um, hydrate aspect. I have worn this once, but I didn't really notice either way. What happens? Um, and then this one, this, this is an interesting concealer. It's the Revolution Pro, which is also Makeup Revolution, Revolution Makeup. Makeup Revolution. Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer, also in C0.2. So I got both of those in store at Ulta, which was interesting. I was surprised that they carry these in the new shade, but they do not have the other one in the old shade. No, in the new shade. The old formula in the new shade. But those. The things where you put the stuff. Displays. Uh, have been there for a long time, so maybe it's just they don't have new displays. They don't want to send out new displays. I don't know. This has a lot of coverage, and it is thick. 
and sticky. And it reminds me a lot of the, um, not surprisingly, the, uh, was it Tarte Creaseless Concealer that was in a tube that's now in a doe foot packaging? Was it Tarte? I think so. Reminds me of that. I did have that years back. I didn't like it all that much. It was all right and it was kind of hard to work with. This reminds me of that, but the color is better for me and um, it's kind of a nice yellow tone, but it is thick and sticky. So it's kind of, I used this actually all over kind of as foundation one day and I thought it was really pretty. The color of it seemed really nice. Um, I don't know how it wore. I didn't really check, um, but it's intriguing. So pale skin options in store possibly at Ulta is always nice. So the foundation, um, you know, I applied it with a sponge and that's always going to shear things out a little. And um, I'd say it went on kind of light to medium coverage, not medium coverage, maybe light, a little more in between. And it's really pretty. I did use a more glowy SPF underneath this today. So it's, I think, you know, even if I use a more matte SPF, it does look a little bit more glowy. Um, I've worn this several times, quite a few times, but I haven't really formulated an opinion on it and I haven't been really in the mood to record videos. So that's why I haven't done a review. Um, and I haven't really done any sort of actual testing for wear. Um, I do know that it doesn't wear great. It wears okay. I don't know if I could get it to wear better. Um, but it's the, the issue I have sometimes with more like natural to satin fish finish foundations is that they stay tacky. So then I have to powder everywhere. Whereas some foundations that really set down, I can either skip powdering altogether and they look almost a little bit nat more natural than if I have to powder my whole face. Um, or I only have to powder like my T-zone where I tend to be a little bit more sticky um, after it sets down. And then like my cheeks will look a little bit more natural. I don't know. Um, so I am powdered all over my face. I used the Stellar uh, Cosmic Face Haze Finishing Powder, which is the one that I like a lot. Um, this is the smaller size. It does come in a full size, but that came in like a set. So it's more of like a travel size, which you can also buy. So mm, it's a really pretty finish. You know, now that my hair is so short, I don't have to worry as much about like hair sticking to my face, except for like up on my forehead here. Um, so in theory, I could probably get away with not powdering it to keep that really super dewy finish, but I don't like my face to be sticky just because if I'm itchy or something, or I bump into like somebody's shirt, I don't want it to like smear off and get on my hands and whatever. So if something's going to be tacky, generally I want to powder it down. And this is one that, um, unless I have Unless my skin's pretty dry and I use a little bit drier of a, a SPF underneath, then I can maybe get away with not powdering it and it not being super sticky. But if there's any sort of like moisture underneath it, it's going to stay sticky on my face. So I feel like even after powdering, I don't have any highlight on you can still see some of that finish like on my t-zone so i like that when my nose you can have you know that's why i tend to wear highlight on my nose is because i like to have a little more dimension on my nose so you can see that it has some shape as opposed to just being like a blob since i don't do any sort of like shading with contour and that kind of thing um, i would rather just have some natural like skin highlights kind of hey there's there's something here there's a shape here um, so I do appreciate that. I want, you know, it's nice when you can have a little shine on your chin without it being like oily looking. Same with the forehead. I think my forehead looks pretty, pretty dewy, even though I did powder that. Uh, since I did wear a more glowy SPF, it could also be the case that this is just going to get really shiny, really fast. That's, that's the downside to that SPF that I wear is that, um, that particular one tends to get pretty oily on my face, even though it's supposed to be for like normal to oily skin. And I find it goes really dewy on me. I don't know. Paula's Choice SPFs are very hit or miss in that way. Some of them that say they're matte really are matte on me. And some of them that say they're 
matte are very not matte. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, so anyway, that's, that's that on these foundations and concealers. Um, if I remember, I might write a little note of how it wore throughout the day. We'll see. Um, let me know if you have any questions about these things. Let me know if you have any questions, um, comments. I always love hearing from you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. And I have a post, uh, talking about my hair and some other stuff about me personally, um, on Instagram, which I will also include in case you are curious.